Medea Villarreal is there in El Cajon now, California, and joins us. And again, if police then knew beforehand, as we just heard in your piece, that Alongo was mentally ill, how did things escalate to one officer firing a weapon even as another was using a taser here? Well, Josh, right now it sounds like when officers arrived on scene, this man was acting erratically. From a press conference last night, the chief said he was actually weaving in and out, walking through the traffic here in this area, putting himself and motorists in danger. On top of that, we believe that what escalated the situation was as he was acting erratically, officers were giving him, com him commands, and he just was not responding to that. He actually reached in his pockets. He pulled out something that officers thought initially might have been a gun. We now know that's not what it was. But he did point his hands up to about shoulder level and was pointing it as if he had a gun in his hands. And that's how things escalated here. Yeah, again, we are seeing that picture and it certainly seems to tell uh, two stories simultaneously. What have we then also learned about the officers we see involved? So what we know about these two officers is they are veterans of the force. Their names have not yet been released at this time, but they have been put on administrative leave, as we see in a lot of these situations. Uh, right now, we're not going to have their names released because there is an ongoing investigation by uh, the El Cajon Police Department about what happened. Again, I know uh, you will be all over the story there, uh, Maria. We do appreciate the time today.